Okay, what's up? So we're going to go over um, how you can go through the processes uh, of a typical order from sending an invoice, quoting them, to sending mock-ups. So we're going to show you from start to finish typically what it looks like. So they come in as a new lead. We send them the automated text message or email. They responded. They're right here. So you can either access this from your inbox right here or from, from this right here. So we click on their name. It's going to take us to our conversation with them, okay? And say they're, they filled out their form and everything. They say, can you tell me more, a bit more about your project? They say, yeah, uh, we need 50 shirts for our school event, blah, 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 blah. You go back and forth with them. Okay, we can do these for $10.90 a shirt. Sound good? Okay. They say, yeah, sounds good. Perfect. Thank you. So then all you got to do is, okay, cool. So Bo here wants the, uh, he wants to place his order. So we come to invoices. We select new invoice, new invoice. And then we write up the invoice. So add item, say whatever, Gillen 5000, whatever, one color screen print, whatever it is. Um, you can add these or create them on the fly. So he needs 50 of these, okay. And he's picking up so we don't need ship shipping. Um, we're going to search for him. Here he is, Bo. Okay. All we're going to do, save and send. So we're going to send this to him. Do we want to email and text it, email or just text? Let's do both. Send invoice. Boom. Simple as that. If you want to do it a different way, you can do it like this. You can copy the email link after you after you uh, save it. So you create your invoice, save it, and then just right here, copy link. Then you can come to your inbox with him, and you can send him a message. Hey, Bo, here is your order link. Um, as soon as you pay for it. As soon as your order is submitted, we'll send over mock-ups, and you send it to him just like that. Let me know if you have any questions. Send it over. Boom. Either he's going to ask a couple questions or he's going to pay for the order. There's only two options, okay? Or he doesn't. Once he pays for it, it's going to automatically mark him as the next stage. So it's going to put him from the sales uh, workflow into the production workflow and need mock-ups art. So it's going to update him there automatically as soon as he pays for his invoice. Or if he's a, a walk-in customer and you're taking a, a check or cash or something, you just mark the invoice as paid, it'll do the same thing, okay? So we go to our production pipeline. Boom, here he is. Okay, we click on this thing. Now, typically, he placed an order and stuff. This is just for demo purposes, so you're not going to see it here. But you're going to see his, his invoice, and then on the notes tab right up top, oh, look, right here, boom, we already, it did create. So see, we click on his invoice, boom, we can pull up all the information. And then from his um, contact here, we can pull up his artwork and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, and then so we're going to create the uh, we're going to create the mockup for him. Let me take this off because I just added it. Okay, so we're going to the mockup. We're going to send him his mockup. Here it is. All we have to do is send the images and watch this. Okay, so we have our mockups images. We send it to him, and all we do in the tags section here is tags right on the section on the left hand side. Move this. Close that right here. Tags. All we got to do is hit mock up. Boom. That's it. Now watch. And see, it says, hey, Bo, here are your mock ups. If everything looks good, reply yes. If not, reply no and specify the revisions you'd like. So if he doesn't like them, he's going to say, hey, change this. If he likes them, he's going to reply yes. And it's automatically going to take his order and move it into the next stage. So now he approved them, and his order will be right here after he replies with yes, okay? And now you can uh, go in and, and click his thing and pull up his PO, okay, his notes. All right, pull up this, check this invoice out for his, um, and do your ordering through there, okay? And then once you order, you'll move it to pre-production, okay? And once it gets moved to pre-production, it will automatically add the tasks that you need. And when you move it to production, it will automatically send him his, uh, his order update. And then once it's completed as well. So that's a typical flow of a, 
of an order.